Hello there traders and welcome to another update on the market. For today, I decided to cover USD versus Canadian dollar. I will speak about the gold market, crude oil and Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will start with the USD versus Canadian dollar first. So what I found on the higher time frames here, we can see on the daily time frame and the weekly time frame that uh, USD CAD uh, traded inside of the, this uh, monthly range and this week we can see that there is a breakout of the previous highs and especially 1.3500 mark. So this marked in a strong upside cycle, we can see also on the 4 hour time frame that market is breaking this and building higher lows and breaking this range to the upside. So there is a potential for the higher prices and the short term perspective and even up to the 1.3675 mark. Intraday structure is uh, very confirmative, we can see that uh, you know, also in the 5 minute market is respecting this middle Keltner line, this rising one and there is a chance for the retest of the previous day high at 1.3580. So upside potential on the USD Canadian dollar. If we speak about the gold market, we can see that market actually cleared a pin bar low from a couple of days ago on the daily time frame and that now market isn't doing the sideways. So pay attention on this level here, especially this 1818 18 level. Because if we can break that zone, I can see the next reference point in the weekly time frame is set at 1785.86. There's still plenty of potential for the market if the market can clear the previous day low and, and hold below. So that will be, since now the market, uh, this area like is acting like support at 1818. But if the market can break that 1818 and hold below, there is a chance for the uh, price to, uh, you know, to drop towards the 1785 level. Speaking of the crude oil, <clears throat> we can see that yesterday, as we, you know, as we said, there was a flip up and market did exactly what we expected. But so far today, what I can see here uh, is that the market is trading about the previous day high, but we can see that sellers kicked in hourly time frame. Also, we can see that some divergences were building divergences. So there is a potential for some downside rotation here uh, we also have this area you know of 76 uh, 27 so potential for the downside rotation maybe even to retest uh, uh, some pullback lows from uh, yesterday around uh, 75 area or even 74 70 mark so divergences are showing up on the lower frames like i mean hourly time frame and and 30 minute time frame so if the market will prove with building lower highs and lower lows intraday, day, there is a chance for that downside rotation of crude oil. Overall, still, I can see that crude oil is trading inside of the bigger range, the multi-month uh, trading range uh, with a resistance at 80, I'll say 83 mark and the support zone around 72 mark. So for something meaningful on the longer time frame, I would like to see the breakout of either su support uh, zone or the resistance zone. And speaking of the Bitcoin versus US dollar, again, this market is trading at the support zone. So the support zone on this uh, market is 23,500 area. And uh, this is something that I will pay attention. And, uh, you know, if market can trade below 23,500 and hold below, then it can open the door for uh, lower prices and maybe even for the price to go towards the uh, 21,000, uh, let's say 700 mark. If, for example, market will try to rally, then um, everywhere around 24,500 came into play or even 25,000. But for now, market is trading sideways and in a tight range so and, and near this support zone. So pay attention to this level to confirm further direction. That will be all for this update. And for this week, I hope that uh, you did enjoy. Uh, trade safe as always. Have a good weekend and speak to you from next week.